focus. Yes. Good evening, everybody. We are parked in the very last row at Epcot. Literally. Which means there must it's be something be a, fun going on in there. Yeah, like food and wine or something. She's feeling better, yeah. if you couldn't tell. Um, and our friend Melissa's here. So we're gonna see it on meeting up with her, and I'm itching for some Beverly. And it's that weird point in the, the, the time of the year where the parks are closing all early before like full on fall starts. Yeah. Not a visit to Epcot. Go back to Beverly. I think that this is something for food and wine. Candy sushi by Skittles. Where where is this arrow pointing to? Oh. Looks like it's closed. <laughs> Nothing. No. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> well, living with the land is closed. Did you already say that Figment was closed? Yeah, no, I didn't. And Figment is already closed. There's snowflakes on these tables. Get it? Seasons? Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, that's smart. So, be careful when you're at Epcot. I mean, I've noticed things have closed early like that before, but like seven seems fairly early. I, with the assistance of Melissa, just figured something out. And this may be silly. But the tabletops down here in the seasons are the different seasons. Snowflakes for winter, flowers for spring, I presume. Oh, suns, like summer. And what do we think, fall? And leaves. That is so cool, and I've never realized I've been here hundreds of times. And these represent the four seasons as well. Because we're in the sunshine seasons. Oh. Okay, I was upset with the fact that everything was closing, but that's a standby 10 minute for soaring. 10 minutes that never happens. For all carry items in the under seat compartment, this includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little things. We are fulfilling a dream of mine that we usually don't wait for. Right, Peter? Right. right. We are now conducting our final systems Tab check. And Please send. Store. Here we go. We got Mercy Me playing. The first time they're here <laughs> is this year. Have you heard of them before? Yeah. Have you? Oh. But I'm excited. I was just looking at the book, and I'm excited for Postmodern Jukebox is coming September 10th and 11th. Is that the one that Dustin was like super pumped about? Yeah. So we'll have to make sure that we can open up our plans on September 10th and 11th because you know Dusty Dustin is going to want to go. She likes the vibes. She's here for the Epcot vibes. Hashtag Epcot vibes. All right, so we found a cool spot. We were worried because Brian's never seen this. We want him to experience illuminations in such a manner that he will love it because not everybody loves it. And Melissa is not the biggest fan, so we want to win. And I'm sorry about my hair. I forgot to wear a hat and it's really hot out. But here we got our spot here. Right outside of Germany. This actually isn't sectioned off because sometimes this will be sectioned off for weddings or parties. And so we're able to to lock it down. So we got. I'm gonna try to get to two different angles. Um, I need to get a stand for the GoPro because I could have gotten the GoPro over there or something and been set. But it's almost illumination time.
the exit. That that Jeep right there is literally the last spot because they're parked perpen like parallel to that road back there. Spaceship Earth is all the way over there. And here's our car. Remember that one day, it was probably about a year ago now, it was probably last food and wine, that we did park in the actual perpendicular. So technically we're two rows away from the very end. Because our car's somewhere over here. That's not it, but it's down there. That's it down there, way down there. <laughs> did we have a good night? Did. Catching up with some friends. Yeah. I didn't realize they were here until Monday. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. see them again yeah, probably. We'll see them again probably. And for those of you who Look don't at know, Sarah's head is as big as Spaceship Earth. <laughs> um, <laughs> Melissa has been in our vlogs before. She is the owner of Park Hopper Supply. Mm -hmm. Used to be Castle Tees. Now it's Park Hopper Supply. She has way more than just shirts. Yeah, she's got um, a lot of merchandise to her shop. So we'll put the information down below. We'll check her yeah, out. We'll probably. She's got real good. Um, yeah. Those, if you remember those incredible shirts we wore to. Yes, the Incredibles it, to premiere. Yes, those were from her from her shop. Look Wait. at my hair. We just, me and her, we were just talking, like, we have a very unconventional friendship, but it just, like, works. Yeah. Like, it's just, like... Is this, isn't, like, the first time we met her and talked to her was, like, when we did that collaboration with the buttons? Yeah. So she, like, asked our Plain Crazy Button Club to do a photo shoot with her shirts and then ears from a different shop. Right after we moved down here. Right after we moved down, yeah. It was actually November of She gave us a lot of tips on how she markets her website that we've yeah, used and turned into so marketing tips, tips for the, the vlog. What is my hair doing? Your hair looking mine! <laughs> um, but anyway, ever since then, whenever she's down, we like to chat. But she did just tell us she was not a fan of Chicago. Yeah, but well, I said we're not a, having that conversation she said it was before an she leaves. charismatic New York. Oh, I'm, she's I'm literally from mad. I'm literally mad at her right now. And it's her own, <laughs> it's her birthday. I don't even care. <sighs> So. That is like the biggest thing, like you can't diss Chicago to me, and especially if you're going to, you can't say like, New York is better than it. No. I'm not I mad she because said it's better. she, she said called it like, an uncharismatic New York. That's the thing. No, she didn't say... She called this it uncharismatic This is the thing, I am unaccepting of it, we will change her opinion. Yes, and I like to point out, because we're at our car, we're going to go home, our chef, Magnet, Mickey from Food and Wine, is already gone. So whoever stole it... I hope you enjoy it. Hope you cherish it and love it and get a lot of food and wine to honor that sticker or that magnet. And the song of food and wine, food and wine, everybody loves food and wine. We'll say, hunt you for all of your days. It's gonna be stuck in your head for the next 16 years. Two peas in a pod. She loves a good back rub when we get home. Tell them the good news. Um, I got a new job. <laughs> So we're in the transitioning process now. So came I had to come home and fill out some paperwork. I'm waiting to hear back from people the information. So that's what I'm doing right now. Here's to a fun new job and exciting new adventure. <laughs> we're always celebrating by going to the parks, but I feel like over the next couple of days we'll be super pumped, ready to go, having fun, seeing friends, petting my dog. Someone's being a very Naughty Rupert. <laughs> we need a picture. This little girl is showing her not so nice side. <laughs> Eeyore's. She even has her claws out. Usually we just show Eve's sweet side. This is her devilish side. If Peter didn't tell me my hair looked crazy all night. My hair looked just as crazy. <laughs> We're both getting haircuts this weekend. Yes. I already need a minute. It's so cold in this apartment. Mm -hmm. I really want um, a pizza. I want an Italian beef. It's good to be home. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>